But all of us experience blocks. We experience blocks in consciousness, which I like to call refuse. <laughs> refuse can be spelt two where it can be pronounced two ways. It can be pronounced refuse, which is garbage, or that which you really don't want, that is the lesser good, or it can be pronounced refuse, R-E-F-U-S-E, -E, that which refuses to let the Spirit of God flow through us to bring our good to us. So we can really begin to look around us and find out that if we're not experiencing prosperity in the highest and the best, then we are refusing in our mental condition to allow the Spirit of God to flow through us and thereby prosper us. In unity, we have two very important tools of consciousness conditioning, and we call those affirmations and denials. And a lot of people say, oh, I heard about those a long time ago. I know all about them. Well, if we really knew all about them, and if we were really using them effectively, we would be prospering right now, because we would be eliminating, letting go, giving up, and releasing things, and affirming our prosperity are making firm in mind the good that God has prepared for us. So we need to get back to the denial process, to the process of elimination. One of our faculties of mind is the faculty of elimination. And I think that Catherine Ponder said it this way when she said, if you put off elimination, you put off results. Just think about that. If you put off the elimination, the denial, the releasing process, then you put off results. So we need to take a look at what it is that's happening in our life. Our basic problem then, because we are not releasing, we are not letting go, is a problem of congestion. We have become congested. <clears throat> we are blocking the flow of spirit, and we need to set into motion the solution. And our basic solution to this problem of congestion is what? Circulation. Circulation, getting things moving again, getting things released, getting things out of the way, getting things so that they can be, so that we can activate this flow of spirit from within us. Now, the way that we can do this is a process of mental, emotional, and physical release. Because there is a definite relationship between what we have accumulated in the outer and what we have accumulated in our mind or in our consciousness. So we really need to take a look at this and see that perhaps we can begin to free up ourselves by doing some things in the outer. We can begin to activate the inner cleansing by doing some outer cleansing. 